Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is day 294 of playing chess every day until 2000 D lower. And we're sitting at 1861. Let's find an opponent. So we find a 2100. Uh, I'll play if they want to play. I should have probably clicked on their profile, but yeah. I mean, it's a bit sus. wonder if I have time to board. Nope. Okay. Well, that's all right. It's all right. We're gonna be a okay. I actually wonder what some of their losses look like. He even beat a cheater. <laughs> Bro beat a cheater. Profile doesn't look that bad, but 71 wins, six draws, and 28 losses. Mm. The November 23rd is what's got me. But we'll see. It's only three rating if we if we lose. Okay, they go there. We need to take, and then we push. And we got the nice little grand three set up. You know, it's kind of crazy. Every 2100 that I've played. Well, not everyone, but it's always the Grand Prix attack. Like, like this is just what I play against these high-rated opponents, I guess. Probably because they play the Sicilian defense. But I don't know. I mean, it seems like we're always getting this position against the high-rated opponents. And this is a move that we do not see all that much, like, to be honest. It's probably like the one of the top end moves just making room so that there's never like any mate here because that's a common problem whoa big whoa wow opening up this diagonal that makes sense so if i were to go here i think he can take i imagine that the best move here is to just take this let's go ahead and go there so if i play that we're gonna get hit with this i'm tempted to pin okay okay what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I guess bringing the bishop probably isn't that bad. Pinning this up. I can never play this because we just take. I like pinning here. It seems pretty good. Not typically what we go for, but the position is a lot different than the normal Grand Prix attacks that I have. Okay, so that opens up the E6 square for me, which I was looking at. But yeah, I think he had to add... A defender because I could have like took and opened up my rook threatening to take take and then like take or take with the queen and we just win a piece so if I go here now is there any of this I mean not really we just take take and take so here if takes takes here there's wait wait, wait. so here is there this I mean we just take the bishop king takes if this takes also if this we can just go here maybe interesting position maybe interesting position let's go like this so if here here i think he might be able to play this not sure but my opponent's playing pretty quick so maybe he knows the position who knows wouldn't surprise me knight back so i mean i do have this but then is this a problem knight here if this we can take and if takes, that's kind of an issue, right? You're here. We take. I could take now, but then they just take. I don't love that. Here, here. Knight here. Bishop here. Rook takes. I guess knights can always go here to defend this. So sacking. Sacking some pieces there is not the right idea, I don't think. Wow. Here, here. What about this move? Because if takes, we can take here first with check. So hold up. Here, here. We go here, and if they were to take the queen, we take here with check. If knight takes, then we take here. He takes. And then we have a fork. No, he wouldn't, because this is a bishop. Wow. I don't really just want to, like, take the queen and play that position. Or go here, and then takes, 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 takes. Like, I don't want to trade everything. I just don't. kind of want to go for this line. Whatever. <laughs> I don't even care. I'm pretty sure I, I just refuted it, but we're going to play it anyways because I'm an idiot. It looks like a fun line. I guess they could also take the rook first, but then, I mean, there's just no rook here then. I definitely think this is the best move. Maybe we'll calculate a little bit more. If they play here, we might just take... The bishop is protected. So what if we just go like here? And if this... No, I don't know. Why do I do this? Here takes... Yeah, the problem is knight takes... The knight is perfectly placed. Oh, he goes for that. I'm shocked, actually. I guess now he has this? Just trades. What? He's gonna go knight here. But then I can just take it. Queen takes check here. Uh, we don't have check, do we? 
right there. Oh, I guess I better calculate this. Takes, takes. We go check. He goes here. Could also play this. Hitting the queen and threatening this. So if I go here, the only way to protect this and the mate is to go here. So this here, but then takes, takes. Doesn't work. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I mean, the problem is he's going to just neutralize here soon. None of that. I'm also tempted to go here. Try to play this. He probably just goes like this, though. And then I have to trade queens. Oh, but then this would hang. So you can't really trade queens. Takes, takes, takes. Only move is to go here. It's just such a shame that the queen blocks us. Regards that. It'd be nice if I could get this knight into the game, but it doesn't really seem like that's possible. I'm going to go for this. Just try and play this move. Oh, really? Oh, no. He has rook takes. Oh, I got so excited there. I guess so excited. You have no idea. But I guess I can go here. King up. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I mean, I'm just going to keep attacking the rook. I don't see anything else I can do here. This isn't possible because I go here. I mean, he can probably sack the exchange. No, he can't. He could right here. Like, here, here. Make a move. Takes here, maybe. I don't know. I wouldn't want to do that. But we'll see what the 2150 does. I imagine they're calculating to see if they can sack the exchange. And no, they just go for a draw. Okay, I will take a draw against the 2100. You know, let's analyze the game here. I played with an 85.7. They played with an 83.4. And we had a win. We had a win, but we missed it. And I kind of felt like we had something going. Like we always get something going in the Grand Prix like this. By the way, don't go anywhere. We will be playing a second game. Um, okay, apparently taking here is not the best move. I always thought that you want to trade once you're prompted. But apparently not in this setup. But okay, we know that this... Oh, Rook there is not a good move. Interesting. I thought this, this guy played like pretty decently. We're not supposed to take. We're supposed to just come in immediately with the Bishop. But okay. We do it next. And he just, yeah, he had to go back. Fair. And then we play a mistake. We should have rotated. Okay, I'm not finding this move. Oh, the idea is to add an attacker. So now you attack with one, two, and three pieces. And they're only defending with one, two, and three. So now you can just, like, probably double up on it or something. Let's see what the engine says. Rook f8. Rook f7. Okay, this is kind of a crazy line. What? Bro, I don't understand the engine level at all. Like knight here. We just leave the, the rook. We don't even take it. Our bishop's hanging. We just calmly play knight e4. Bro, who plays knight e4 in this position? Bro, what? Knight e4. I mean, they can just take. Then you take with this rook. I guess the point is if... I don't know. I don't know. It's all good. We play there, knight back to offer a queen trade, and going in with the knight is the best move. They take, we take, and then it's actually plus five. Was it to sack the rook? No. What? I did look at this move too, but I thought after takes, takes. What? Rook c8 at once from them? Why rook c8? And then how did how do I progress? What? Why is this so good for white? I guess I was so caught up in the idea of trying to get this that I just forgot that, you know, you don't always have to win right away. You just milk the position. I guess black doesn't really have much moves, but going here ruins the whole advantage because there's a queen trade. Okay, let's see what the best move is. Knight in, takes, takes, and now, now if this, we go all the way back. And I guess we're opening the door for checks on this square. So they have to block it. Okay. And now it's time to try and trade. Oh, we're utilizing the pin now. So we have two attackers on here and they probably have to sack the queen. That's what the computer says. King f8 takes. Um, okay, but what if they don't? What if they try? Oh, they literally can't defend this because the rook can't come here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What if they go here? Then knight takes. It's as simple as that because the defender is a queen.
Oh my gosh. All right, well. Well, we got into a draw. <laughs> is what it is. We live and learn. That's crazy though. We, we had a plus five position. Is that the only winning move? Knight d5 is the only move that really keeps a like a true advantage. You can play a4 here and it's slight advantage, 0.5. But then they have to find knight e7, or not knight e7, queen e7. If they play anything else like this, it's back to craziness. We go here, rook e8, knight sacrifice because there's just this pin. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, I even said, though, like, in the game, obviously I saw that if I play h4, he can go here and offer a queen trade, and it's forced, because my queen has no squares. But the thing that was flawed in my head was that I was thinking after here, here, takes, king takes, we win the knight. But I just completely um, brain farted, and the rook can take, dummy. But is what it is you know i'll take the draw and we had a performance elo of 2150 versus his 2100 let's find a second opponent and we find ziggy luxwan who is an 1817 fake aliens and phony nuke world, world order what okay dude what dude only has 50 games it has i don't know is this guy legit yeah he, he's got 1700 blitz games all right i'll, I'll play him i'll play him England. Bro has a bunch of daily games for some reason going on. Kind of weird, but yeah, it looks like we might have a Joe Bava London, which we don't really see all that much in our rapid games. And I mean, against the London, I like to just play an early C5. Takes here. I think they, they don't have that. Okay. So if they take, we just play knight to C6. And then we're trying to play for e5 here and hit the bishop. So they might develop the knight here and then we'll probably pin it. But we need to, to make sure that, you know, they're not able to play this. So if they play here, I guess we have this. So we're okay. So knight here, we go ahead and pin. Oh, wow, really? We just have this though. They can't take. Okay, I've fallen for something like this before. They're trying to remove the defender of this. So I think the move here might be to play bishop like this. And then they're going to get this move. Or can I take, take, take. Knight comes in with tempo. Yeah, we don't really want to go for that. But I guess bishop here. This, we take. They take, we go here. But then they block, forking us. But then we take, take, and then take no that's an insane line i feel like we're falling into some kind of opening trap here and my instinct right now is telling me to play d4 like everything in me right now is saying play d4 d4 e4 or d4 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 they need to move the knight so here 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 they do have one check but we could just play this and then they have to move the knight i could go here to apply more pressure to my knight and protect the pawn but then I have checks. Then they block. Oh. But in that position, I would have knight takes. I'm going to play d4. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. But this is what my this is what my intuition is saying to play. Could be totally wrong. I guess I missed. Yeah, they can just go there. But now check. And they have this. Tempo move. Takes, takes. Okay, let's go here. They're going to take. I'll take with the pawn. And if the queen ever stops protecting the rook, this check is able to happen because after this we can take with the knight and if they were to just like protect here oh they just go for that i mean i just take with the pawn now what are they going to do about this knight check so i need to take but they're just giving me the pawn i don't really see what the point of that was i guess my pawn structure is kind of just screwed up but i mean i'm just gonna long castle Play rook b8, or king b8, and I mean, it's kind of ugly, but it'll do. We have the open g file. We could maybe hold the bishop down to protecting this. Just some ideas. He might be able to go here and attack my bishop, but then I would just take. Complex position, I think. I don't know. This is one of those 
kind of openings that a lot of people just play the normal London against me. So I'm not too versed against the Joe Bava. I probably need to study it a little bit more, but you know how it is. That's what we're playing these games for. We'll learn a little bit. We'll learn something after this game. That is factual. They might even have G4 here. Tempoing the bishop. Oh, what? Really? Okay, so it kind of tells me that they want to play queen to G5. But then I just go bishop to G6. I could also just attack the bishop with the queen. Like... I could just play this. I don't see anything wrong with just playing here. Queen here. We just attack the queen. Queen goes back. And then we can just like castle. We could go here now, but then there's this. And we have to go here and it just blocks in the rook anyways. Hmm. The only thing I don't like about this is like the plan would be to take this pawn, but then I get pinned. I could also just castle in this position and then play like this. No, if I castle, I lose this pawn. I think I am going to play this. There's no sacrifice because when he comes in with check, I just just drop the, the bishop back. And if he goes ED, we just take that with the knight. But I guess his bishop's hanging. He needs to do something about that right now. Hmm. Bishop back. Okay, fair. So I could go after the bishop, try to get the bishop. But I kind of want to just castle. And he's going to go like this, maybe. And then we can take. I like castling here. Oh, uh, it, right. It drops the pawn. We kind of forgot about that. But we take this pawn. We don't really care about this pawn all that much, to be honest. We do have checks now. That this can't be a thing. But check. He just blocks with the queen. So maybe after this, check will be decent. Unless he takes right now. We shall see. We need to be careful with this alignment here. Queen and king takes. This doesn't really work because of this. I mean, I could go here. Takes rook here. We push through. Then we just have a clamp. That actually looks pretty good. But I think I, I like the plan of, of taking. Hmm. So it gets out of the way. So I could go check. And the king has to move. Or I could take on c2. I could take c on c2. But I guess now the problem is that this pawn's going to hang. Is that the end of the world? Probably not. If this, we just take. And if this here, we have check. And then we'll be able to take here. But I'm wondering if he has a rook sack come in with the queen that would be a little bit complex but i like it let's take the pawn yeah now we go here we're gonna be able to take the bishop but i'm a little bit worried about a rook sack here actually wait he goes here do we have this which just no no no. he can block like this oh my opponent just resigns okay it is plus four i guess maybe the rook sack did not work oh we played with a 94.5 and he played with a 73. Okay, apparently I know how to play against the Joe Bava London more than I thought. Uh, okay, so, I mean, I just played on intuition, which, I mean, I guess it's, it's a good sign, right? You know, we played with a 94, not knowing the book moves. I mean, ad admittedly, I know, I know how to play against the London, which is like in this kind of style where... So I just play, I play A6 early against the Joe Bava because I just, I do not want to deal with any of this pressure. I'm pretty sure you there are some lines where you can allow them to come in and do it, but I just prefer not to. So I just play a6. And then I know against the London, you want to play an early c5 if you can. And okay, so knight c6 is not the best move. Going here, hmm. immediately trying to win the pawn. Okay, fair. Maybe that's something good to remember. Mm, it's not like... There's nothing wrong with knight c6, but there's the this line right here where they go bishop to g5 and d4 wasn't the best move. So I, this was the other move I was looking at, but I thought that he would just take, take, and then none. Uh, I guess he can do that. And now he's just up two pawns. Rook here. This holds on to the pawn, and I, like, I'm just down two pawns. So... I mean, I'm kind of happy with d4. What's he supposed to do? Take? Okay, and on takes, I think... I was thinking takes. Bishop takes. Uh, where are we going to take with the pawn? I don't know. It's the best move. Queen takes, though, is the second best move. And then they go knight d5, attacking, attacking the queen. Getting out of this. And then this is the best move. And then the only way they can keep an advantage is to play this move. And then we go rook b8. They play their b4. 
hold on to the pawn, and then we go g6, trying to come out this way. I don't know, these are some crazy lines. I'm glad that my opponent played like this because it made my life easy. Jumped in, gave me the pawn. What am I supposed to do here? Not care about the pawn? Come here and pressure this way, fair. Okay, c4, and I had something better. Just castles. Okay, so castles right away was fine, giving up the pawn. King b8, just like I said, and then it wants to go back. Queen c7, and I guess just slow play, try to get onto this weak diagonal. But we have this, we castle, and it's already plus three. Oops. So taking's the best move, and this is why. Because if they go here, it's just bad. I mean, this is probably, yeah, that's the best move. And we take back. And then it wants to offer a queen trade. It's not good. Come back, target this pawn. This pawn's going to fall. This is opening up. We're going to bring the other rook. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to be white here. But, yeah, we just have this check. Now, let's take a look at this line that I was looking at. So if they go here, no, let's pull up the analysis. We can actually just play this, I guess. Ah, I see. See, what I was thinking was takes, and then I was thinking, do they have a rook sack here? And the answer is absolutely not. Now, we just have too many pieces protecting the king. Yeah, I, I should have known that. But good game, good game. Kind of too short games, to be honest, but, uh, you know, they were pretty decent. It sucks that in the first game we missed our opportunity against another really high-rated opponent, but... Yeah, I had a performance yield of 2350, and my opponent had a performance yield of 1750 here. And yeah, we're now at 1873, not too shabby, not too shabby. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow.